These are imitations of three children playing with doctors. Can you hear the doctor? Yes. Can you hear the baby? Yes. Can you hear the baby? Yes. Can you hear the baby? Yes. Is it of any importance? Yes, it's very important. Will it keep you I've had my lunch? Yes. What are you having? Toast. How long do you think you'll be? It all depends. You sure it's very important? Yes, it's very important. I want you to come and see my husband. He's run out of his mind. What makes you think he's run out of his mind? He's just asking for you. Have you a temperature? No, I don't think so. He's shivering. You mean shivering? Well, he must have a temperature before I can send to him. Please see that he has one at once. What am I to do? Keep him in bed. Cover him up with all the clothes you can find. Collect all the hot water bottles. Put them in the bed. And if necessary, put a gas fire underneath. And when he's boiling, send to me. Or perhaps I'd better come along myself. Well, how about your lunch? I'll bring that with me. I'm the doctor. Oh, you're very quick. Yes, I know. I live in the next flat. Hold my toast. And I'll have a look at the patient. Hello, my little man. Put out your tongue. My word. Perfectly red. Say 99. Ninety-nine. Now say a hundred. Hundred. Sir, I've got to examine you. Any legs broken? Yes, two. Hear me, any pain? Yes, a lot of pain. Where? Not going to tell you. It's your business to find out. Is you're a doctor? You breathe? A little. Well, we must stop that. I'll take off my shoes and run over your chest. No, dear, you're not going to do that. Yes, I am. All doctors have to run over the patient's chest. Never mind, I'll sit on it. Now then, can you breathe? Oh, uh, <laughs> I thought so. You're in a very bad state. You'll have to be operated upon at once. What for? Why, to find out where the pain is. The fee will be one shilling. And I shall want it now. Won't tomorrow do? No, you only half an hour to leave, so I shall want my tea at once. Well, oh, get off my chest. Not until I've had my tea, one shilling thing. I've only got six minutes from our last operation. All right, I'll cut you open and leave it at that. Go and get me a razor. Which one? That is this one. Where is it? Mother has it. She's sharpening her pencil with it. Here it is. Oh, and that's where my razor is, is it? And what are all those clothes doing on Johnny? Look how suffocated it. It's all right, Daddy. We're playing the doctor. Yes, but not with Daddy's razor. Uh, come on, hand it over. Daddy, Daddy, what are you doing? Eating. 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 Do you understand what I read you just now? Yes, if you want to be success, you can the bottom. That's right. How about swimming? <laughs> Daddy, do you know Freddy Duck? Yes, I know Freddy. He's got the measles. Sorry to hear that. You have to stay in bed all day. That's the right place for him. His mother reads to him, he doesn't go to school, and he has grapes and all nice things to eat, and boys to play with, oh, he has a fine time. Well, what about him? When can I have the measles? Never, I hope. Daddy. Hello, is that you, Vicky? I don't feel very well. Oh, uh, what have you eaten? Nothing, Daddy. I eat nothing all day. Ask him she drank anything, Daddy. Did you drink anything, Winnie? Yeah, no, I drink a glass of water. Ask him if there was anything in it, Daddy. Is there anything in it, Winnie? No, Daddy, there was nothing in it. Johnny, what made you want me to ask Winnie just now? Was there anything in it? Well, Daddy, I had a frog in a glass of water yesterday and it's gone. Oh, good gracious me. It's all right, Daddy. I've got another. Did you go to that party yesterday, Winnie? Yes, Daddy. I went to party. Did you enjoy yourself? Oh, yes, Daddy. It was a beautiful party. I was sick all next day. Winnie, you're a pig. Johnny, how dare you call your sister a pig? Apologize at once. I won't. But here, Johnny, if you don't apologize to your sister, I'll not take you to the zoo tomorrow. All right. Sorry, Renee. 
Probably yours, Steve. Well, that's a fine way. Uh, by the way, Johnny, uh, where's Auntie? Auntie's gone to the hairdresser. You say what for? Yes, she's going to have her hair permanently in the next way. Permanently way? Permanently in the next way. Daddy, what does permanently in the next way mean? Permanently? Does Auntie will have her hair waved? It'll last some considerable time. How long? Oh, I don't know how long, about six months or a year. Is that permanently in the next way? Yes, that's permanently. Daddy. Now what is it? I wish I could have my neck permanently washed. <laughs> I did say you would. Uh, by the way, did you go to the party, Johnny? Yes, for ten minutes. Ten minutes? That was a short time, wasn't it? Well, sent me home again. Sent you home again? What for? But I said a wicked word. But here, didn't Daddy give you sixpence the other day not to make use of that wicked word? Wasn't that one. Oh, so you know another one, do you? Yes, I know one worth five shillings. Well, I don't want to hear it. You go off to sleep at once. <laughs>